I overlooked this for years. Just hook it right into here. This is gonna change the game for you guys. Doing a video about a piece of metal. It sounds like metal. It's called a door holder. It holds open doors. It's simple, it's profound. It's amazing for paint correction. You can buy it on detail division. You can use this when you're talking about a tailgate or a hatch. You can use this on doors into the edge. I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how it gives you great results. So I'm gonna transform, hopefully, this little section of this black GMC truck. You guys can watch, see if I accomplished the goal. And let me know, like, what do you think about this door holder? Well, let me show you how it works, and then you can be the judge. So here it is in action, just another day at the shop. And yet again, I find myself reaching for this door holder, this blue magical door holder. Now, I bought the 12-inch version, although you can get the 6-inch version too. Again, detailed division. I paid $34. So dummy simple, you'll figure it out. But once you create that rod, then you can hit all these spots into here. So much easier to polish. But let's get to this sexy little Volkswagen. So here I am, I'm gonna start by wet sanding away with my three inch sanding disc here on the Flex Pixie 80, PXE 80. Cause you know I want that showroom shine, baby. Here's a video by the way, top right, how to use it. We grab it all the time in our shop. It's cordless, it works for sanding and polishing. Imagine how unsafe it would be to try to get down there with a five inch, you know, 15 millimeter dual action polisher. But here, I've got good posture. I'm able to work it how I want to. Yeah, I edged with this, put it down to a lower speed. I'm cutting, it's not an area that they're gonna see very often. But how amazing is this? I don't have to get into nasty contorted positions here. And the reality is it's strong enough even for a five inch dual action polisher. I don't own an expensive jack for this car, and yet I have this great superpower. I'm getting great results. I, I've been able to change the angle of this panel and take control of the situation. Okay, let's move on to the nastiness of the black paint on this GMC truck. I'm gonna show you some before, some of these swirls and scratches because I want to show you some transformation. You can see I've put all of the um, towels in here. Just found as many big towels as I could. Just wrapped them around the seat. Am I going to get some sling in here? It's possible, but I want to mitigate against that the best that I can. And then there's this little hook you got to screw in. I could screw this a little bit tighter, maybe. Are you even doing anything? A little bit. There we go. Okay. Again, I'm gonna start by wet sanding this panel and then I'm gonna go after those pigtails. So first I wet sand it, you see that nice, even, sort of chalky, call 911, I'm scared appearance. That's just to level as much of this clear coat as I can and reduce the amount of heat I'm using. So that's why wet sanding actually with a dual action polisher can be safer as Jason Rose, the polishing guru, taught us at Rupes Training, which I attended a couple years ago. But we get those pigtails out now with the rotary. I love this little machine. My focus here though is the edge. How can I get optimum performance visually and then work with precision here. That is, how can I do this without knocking my polisher onto the next panel, messing with clear coat I'm not even focused on right now? I'm just so stoked on this tool. I didn't actually use it on this section of the paint, but now that I'm here, I'm at the edge, 
I'm gonna put the tool back in the old door holder and uh, take care of the section. Gently do my thing along the edges here. It's so awesome. I do love this three inch rotary polisher. It's the three inch Lake Country plate, I believe. But the rotary is called the Flex Compact Rotary. I bought it a few years ago. It may have changed. This is a three inch red foam pad from Koch Shemi. Their red pad combined with their red H9 compound. The Germans, what are they doing? They got it, they're smart. Slowly but surely I'm massaging out the pigtails, but look at how I can just dance with this edge. Be one with it. Make love to this, if I can say that. So shiny, that edge is just so dialed in. So come with me here, and yeah, there's gonna be things along the edges, but you're gonna see closer to here, I haven't refined it. But as we come over to here, remember what we started with? So we started with this. Now if you like how meticulous this is, then you just pull the handle if you wanna let it go. If you like this showroom shine that I'm going after, watch this video, it's on the top right, it's a transformation video, it will blow 